Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and explain how this problem works and, um, you know, basically what's going on here. So what you want to do is you want to URLify this method. So you want to write a method to replace all the spaces with percent %20 right there. And what you're given is you're given the string plus some spaces for the left for the 20 and then the length of the string. So 13 means this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. And there's four spaces left over. And you might say, well, why do we have four spaces left over? Why do you have these one, two, three? Why do you have these four spaces? Well, we have these four spaces because the percent would go here. And then we still need to put in the two zero, right? The percent would go here. And then we still need to put in the two zero. So that's why we have the four spaces. The way this algorithm works is the original string here. And what we do is the following. We go to the end. You could move everything over to the right, but that would, that would be really complicated. You go to the end and you say, all right, well, just whatever's two over, move it in. So we go to the end and what's two over here? It's a blank. Good. So we put in a blank. We go to here, what's two over? Okay, one, two, that's a blank, good. We go to here, what's two over? H, what's two over? I, and so on and so forth. Now, we're gonna go until, now you'll notice, we're gonna go until we reach the blank. So, once the, um, once we're two over, so let's say, just to say, uh, I don't know, I is two. Okay, I is two here. We're gonna go until J is, two greater than I, so until J is four. So we're gonna stop here. And when we get to here, what we're gonna do is, well, that means we already put the O, see the O went here, right? And then the N went here, so we did that. Then we put the zero, the two, and then the percent, and then we just put what was there before. We don't have to even do anything, it'll just be there. Okay, you don't have to touch it. So then when we get down to this line, we reach a blank here, right? So then we, we go to the end and we say, all right, what's two over? Well, the H is there, right? So the H is gonna go over there. Then the T is gonna go over there. Then the I is gonna go there. Then the M is gonna go there, you know, so on and so forth. Now you're gonna say, all right, then the uh, S is gonna go here. Now, since we're two here, we're two more than I, so here, here I is, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I is nine. We're going to stop when we get to 10, 11. This is 10, this is 11. So we're going to stop when we get to here, and we're going to put in the zero, we're going to put in the two, and then we're going to put in the percent, okay? And then if we're really clever, if you want to make it a little bit better, you could say <clears throat> I equals I plus one. We're here, right? We could skip. This is one, two, three. I equals I plus three, and you could go there and see if there's a blank. I didn't do that. That would make the code a little bit faster. Um, <clears throat> a little bit, but, you know, it's not a big deal. All right, so that's what it's doing. You're just going to the end, and you're moving everything over two. Then you go to the end, and you keep doing this. If you don't have these blank spaces here, if I don't have these blank spaces in my string, this particular program wouldn't work. So this is designed to uh, only work like this, all right? This is the question. And the code is pretty pretty basic. Um, all you do is you say char charre equals word dot two charre. So you, you just make the word right here, a character array. Then you make a loop that goes from zero to the, uh, well, it's less than size. Um, it's pretty simple. And then uh, you should probably stay size minus one actually. If character rate i uh, is equal to blank, what you do is you start at the, oh, size is correct, yes. You want to go to the size of the word. You want to stop at the size of the word. So that's like the index of the word. That's right. It's not word.length. Um, okay. So you want to start out at the end of the length of the word, the blanks, right? You want to And you want to go until j is too greater than the index that you found the blank. So what am I talking about? Well, you want to go, you found the blank. And you want to stop J when it's at 4, when it's 2 greater. So we could put in the 2, 0, right? So we put in the 0, 2%, because we're going backwards. So it's 
0, 2 percent, so it's percent 20 backward, right? And then I could, if I wanted to, say something like i equals i plus 2, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let i do its thing, right? So that's all that's happening here is you're just going backward, and you're moving all the characters over two spots, and then you're stopping two spots before the blank. You're putting in percent two zero, and you're just going to continue doing that over and over again, right? If you're dealing with this, you just have to make sure that you have, for every blank, you have two extra blank spots. So let's put John Smith is cool. So I have, how many blanks would I need? Well, I would need two blanks for the first one, two blanks for the second one, two blanks for the third, and two blanks for the fourth. And then I have to change the size of the string. So uh, that was 13. All right, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You could actually write a program to do this for you, and it'll be a little bit more interesting. Right, so let's try it. And I made a mistake. <clears throat> and there you go. I might have not added enough blanks at the end. Or maybe I'm 23? Let's see. Yep. I was too off when I counted. So Mr. Percent 20, John Percent 20, Smith Percent 20, Is Percent 20. Cool. And that's it. It would be neat, a uh, good extension to this if you want more practice, is to write a program that will take a string without any blanks at the end, add the necessary blanks, count the characters before the blanks, and then pass the function into URLify with the correct amount of blanks in the word count. That would be a really nice extension to this. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and you get why we start off from the back and move all the characters to the right. Thanks for watching.